Virtual reality can be a fantastic way to unwind, work out, or do both. The Oculus Quest 2 is the greatest self-contained VR gaming system on the market. The small headset, which is an updated and less expensive version of the original Oculus Quest, reminds me more than ever that the VR console has some very fantastic games, and in this video, we're going to take a look at top Oculus Quest 2 games for you to go hard. Number 10. Climb 2 it's time to begin with number 10. The most recent game on this list is the Climb 2 for the most extreme thrill seekers among the VR users. The Climb 2 is critics' sequel to a beloved VR classic, and this time around, the stakes were higher, the mountains were taller, and the set pieces were significantly larger. The goal of this game is to climb, but there's a lot more to it than that. If you want an experience that will make your heart pound and your blood rush while also allowing you to be taken aback by the immense beauty of the surroundings, then the climb to might just be new this time, but you'll be climbing around skyscrapers as well as massive mountains and canyons. And I'll warn you that the climbing path is not always what it seems and your virtual self will almost be in danger. But back to reality, Climb 2 is one of Quest 2's best looking games. And while it's far from perfect, there will be moments where you peek into a valley and your jaw drops. The biggest drawbacks to Climb 2 and the reason it's ranked 10 are that beautiful graphics and set pieces do not make a game. And unfortunately, the only multiplayer that is available here is in the form of a leaderboard. Number 9. Pistol Whip That's the only rhythm game on the list, and it deserves a Pistol Whip. Now, Pistol Whip had been a good fast-paced rhythm game that made you feel badass. It is a game that has everything done right in a simple package. Then came the story mode as well as the cinematic campaign in Pistol of 2089. Even if rhythm or shooting games aren't your thing, I'd recommend giving Pistol Whip a try. It's a heart-pounding base grinding adventure on the rails that will have your feeling like John Wick. Of course, it's not perfect and more features could be added to provide more variety, but for the time being, it's in the top 10 especially with the new update. Number 8 Mist. But now for number 8, which is Mist. I could see a bright future. So, while I grew up playing Mist and adore the series, a Mist sort of reboot was released for VR, and it's fantastic regardless of whether you've played Mist before. In case you don't know, Mist is just a puzzle adventure game where you have to solve puzzles to advance in the adventure. There are a lot of engaging puzzles in environment, as well as beautiful scenery and super immersive soundscapes. This VR adaptation of Myst, on the other hand, takes things to a whole new level. Myst has long been one of the few exceptions to that rule, and Myst on the Quest 2 has quickly become one of the most immersive VR games available. So, even if you're not a big puzzle game fan, you should try this game. You might be surprised as the hours pass and you become immersed in what the ages have missed. Number 7. Gorn Now for the 7th is Gorn. It's easily one of my favorite VR close quarter combat games and has only gotten better with each update. Because of this game, I've broken touch controllers, kicked holes in walls, and nearly destroyed a fan. But it was worth it. There isn't much of a storyline, there's no multiplayer, and there aren't many polygons either. Gorn is not a pretty game, but it is a lot of fun. It's an enjoyable game. It's just you and a super wacky vast range of weapons against a bunch of enemies which you can just number any way you want. Aside from the standard bipedal humanoid enemies, there are several boss fights, such as a giant crab, which require the specific approach to win challenges, trials, as well as a ton of weapons. Look, if you're looking for some fun or a way to relieve stress, Gorn is and also has been one of the go-to pretty much since it was first released on PC VR a few years ago. But now it's on the quest, so gobble it up and enjoy it. It's just a good game that's worth every penny as well as every hour of your time. Number 6. Jurassic Number 6 on this list is Jurassic World Aftermath. The art style is simple but elegant and stylized in a way that just works well with the environment and current VR tech. Put simply, you're on a survival adventure to figure out what happened to the Jurassic World, all while being chased by velociraptors. This game had me on my hands and knees hiding from dinosaurs rolling, yelling. I was blown away by the quality of the experience and something kind of interesting is that the story isn't done yet similar to Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. The story is set to continue later this year in 2021, 
so I'll be looking forward to it. But looking forward to a Jurassic Park game is not something. Aftermath just because of the IP. I would have been seriously missing out on one of the most immersive experiences of VR for the year big time. Number 5. Onward. Finally, we'll dive into some multiplayer action. And now we're on to number 5. So, as you may know, Onward is a first-person multiplayer shooter that is more akin to a tactical meltdown than a normal running game arena shooter. There are no pickups for Minimaster Power Weapons. It's all about teamwork and communication, combining VR gameplay with the unique benefits of social VR. If you prefer a hardcore milsim, then so is the Onward. More likely, the game has also proven to have very active developers as it is frequently updated and has a healthy player base, which is crucial for a multiplayer-only VR game, as I'm sure you know. I have to give Onward credit for creating a fun, consistent shooter with even a lively player base. Number 4. Contractors Contractors is a MeSim style game just like Onward, but the pace is usually a bit faster and it's a little closer to something like the Call of Duty in VR if Onward were compared to Arma. Contractors are, in my opinion, one of the best multi-platform virtual reality shooters available right now if you want a semi-realistic running gun style, and the player base is quite large and growing by the day. There are many people to play with. There are also numerous game modes to enjoy. Number 3. Lies Beneath Now for number 3, Lies Beneath. There is easily one of my favorite games for the quest. It takes all the boxes for me to have enjoyable VR experience. It's fun, looks good, and has a great story and the VR interactions are plentiful and engaging. And even though Lies Beneath technically is a horror game, you can expect a lot more than just cheap scares. First. The art style is perfect for both atmosphere and performance. You're in a horror manga essentially, which is what the game is based on. Something terrible happens to you in an Alaskan town and you're trying to save your father as well as your mind while creepy creatures infect the townspeople. That's a super simple explanation to a really good plot and I don't want to spoil. The question you'll be asking yourself more is what's real and what a hallucination is. If you're into a cerebral comic book style story that goes deep, has engaged in combat and has some horror elements, Lies Beneath easily takes a spot. Number 2. Walking Dead On number 2 we have Walking Dead. It is hands down one of the best VR games ever made to this date, no questions asked. I can say that with a straight face and mean it, and the fact that this game is this big and detailed and is playable on the quest is kind of mind-boggling because the game world is huge, very detailed, and the gameplay loop is super satisfying. Whether you're gathering materials, shooting zombies or running away from them, or using whatever you can find around you to impel them, this is a kind of game where VR shines as a platform where you are truly a member of the Walking Dead world. The second you put a headset on, there's an engaging story and even more engaging gameplay. But that's also where this game gets kind of crazy as well. The developer Skydance Interactive could have just released the game and been done but post-launch content has been flowing for Saints and Sinners, and the game legit just keeps getting better and better. With the most recent update bringing a horde trial mode to the game seriously, it's kind of a must-have in my opinion, and it almost made the must-have no-brainer list, but I figure it deserves a spot here. The graphics are good, the gameplay is great, the story is intriguing and the environments are believable and memorable solid recommendations. Number 1. Pop 1 And on number 1, we have the best one and that is Pop 1. This game almost single-handedly rocked the VR gaming experience. The freedom of playing wirelessly is incredible. The graphics really aren't that much different from PC to Quest. And that's that in case you don't know what Population 1 is. Is a multiplayer battle royale skin to Apex Legends or Fortnite on the flat screen side. But in VR, of course and in some ways done better. There's building a variety of weapons to find on the map, shield sodas, bananas, and you can climb fly. It's really turned into one of my absolute favorite VR games of all time, for sure. One of the best competitive VR games, and it's one of the first competitive VR games that is taken seriously by many players around the globe. The gameplay, while I'll know it's not for everyone, is smooth, easy to learn, but difficult to master, rewards aggressive play and well for the first time. 
VR Battle Royale has enough players to fill lobbies consistently. You'll always be able to find a match, which is something you can't always take for granted in a VR game. Some games are just so dead population-wise that you'll think that the population is one, making those games difficult if not impossible to play. But that's not the case here for Pop 1. Plus, the game gets so many updates. It feels like every few weeks, there's new content or skins or events going on. All in all, this is the game that will probably stay that way throughout most of 2021. Well guys, congratulations on making it to the end. If you enjoyed this video, it would be awesome if you like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next video.